Well, hello everyone, and welcome to today's lesson, the circumference of a circle. Now, you already know what a circle is. Let's do a brief review. A circle, simple, you know it, from the, the distance from the center to its edge is called r, the radius. You also have, once again, let's draw the center point. The distance from one side of the circle to the other is called d, the diameter. You already know that radius times 2 equals diameter, so if I give you a radius of 4, that means your diameter is going to be 8. If I give you a diameter of 10, that means that your radius is going to be, oh, sorry, your radius is going to be half of that, so your radius will be 5. You already understand those relationships. Oh, and you also remember that pi, this magical weird symbol, is always going to be 3.14. That never fluctuates. Another concept I want you to understand is the definition of circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle. So think, think of circumference as the perimeter of a circle. Okay? Now, to find the perimeter of a circle, to find the circumference of a circle, you have two formulas. You have one formula that uses radius, and you have one formula that uses diameter. You are definitely going to want to put these in your notes. More importantly, you are going to have to eventually memorize these two formulas. Why? Because they are not given to you on the test. These are important, and you have to memorize them. Challenge yourself. It's not, easy. It's not difficult. Here you have C, circumference, equals 2 times pi times r. r is obviously radius. Yeah? The formula with diameter is circumference equals pi times diameter. Now, as I'm sure you remember, your radius times 2 equals your diameter, right? That's why here you have 2r, because you need 2 times an r to equal 1 diameter. Eh, hey, nice trick, right? Here are two worked examples for you. If I tell you that you have a circle with a radius of 3, you're going to use this formula. Why? Because, well, this is the formula that has radius, and you're being given a radius. Okay, so you take that formula. Circumference equals 2 times pi times r. Great, no problem. The circumference is what you're trying to solve. The 2 stays the same. Pi I replace with 3.14. And r, in this case, is 3. Excellent. So, 2 times 3.14 times 3. You do it in the calculator, boom, you get your answer. That is your circumference. The distance around the entire outside of the circle is going to be 18.84. No problem at all. Now, if I were to give you a circle that has a diameter, as here, if I give you a circle that has a diameter instead of a radius, all you're going to do is opt for this formula. So, pi is 3.14, excellent, and my diameter that I was given is 8, excellent. Now, all I do is multiply. C, well, 3.14 times 8 gives you C equals 25.12. So, once again, the circumference of this circle is 25. Point 12. Okay, let's move on. Oh, no, never mind. We don't have to move on. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the crux of the lesson. Use these two examples to work through your exercises.